welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, and today we are filming a vlog. So, today is a day where I just have all kinds of things on my agenda to do. So, I figured I'll pick up the camera, bring y'all along with me, and it should be an interesting day. So, first things first, this morning I need to get an oil change. I feel like I'm a couple hundred miles over, and when your truck has almost 200,000 miles on it, you don't want to be too late because you want this bad boy to run for as long as possible. So that is the first thing on the agenda. Let's do this thing, y'all. All right, just pull it up to get my oil changed and thankfully there's not much of a line at all. So hopefully I'll be able to get this taken care of pretty quickly. Hey, can I do a venti iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla, no classic, and a light amount of heavy cream, please? No problem, anything else for you? That's it. I had to treat myself to some Starbucks after I got my oil changed because it just happens to be right next door. And I haven't had coffee in a couple of days. So here we are and I'm so excited. Ooh, your girl got her some iced coffee and I am so excited about it. Well, I was until I took the first sip and I tasted like the cinnamon dolce flavor in it. And I realized when I looked at the little order, so I got a venti iced coffee, no classic, with cinnamon dolce syrup, sugar-free vanilla syrup, and heavy cream. Y'all saw me order. I definitely didn't say the cinnamon dolce syrup. I don't know how it ended up in my drink. I'm a little nervous that it's not the sugar-free version, but I assume it is since it's I don't know, I'm a little nervous. It tastes like the sugar-free flavoring, not actual flavoring. So I'm crossing my fingers that there isn't actually hidden sugar in this drink. Makes me a little bit nervous though. But when I say no classic, maybe that means they would not put the classic sugary syrup in it. Anyways, I just pulled up to the post office. Yeehaw, I'm gonna go check my P.O. box. Next stop of the morning is the gas station. I somehow didn't realize I was almost fully out of gas, so fill her up. Oh yeah. Guess who I went and picked up? Hey y'all, welcome back. <laughs> so I picked up Cody and we are headed to Solana for lunch today, which is basically a place, oh I'm all shaky, but where you can build your own salad. I have been wanting a big hearty salad for some reason lately. I've had a hankering for it. So, off to get a salad. We go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> salad time, y'all. You should have yes. seen, seen my salad dance. It was a really good dance. Did she you? looked like a salad when she did it. I know. Like a wilted, beautiful, not wilted salad. <laughs> salad time! Salada is basically like Subway, but for salads. You pick your lettuce, you pick your protein, you have a wide array of like veggies, fruits, nuts, and all kinds of stuff that you can put in your salad. It's actually pretty neat. I loaded up my salad with cheeses and some peas, chopped eggs, um, chipotle ranch, this grilled chicken, avocado and y'all it hit the spot it was exactly what your girl was wanting that's for darn sure well we are back at home after going out to eat some lunch and y'all my salad was delicious exactly what i had been craving was just a salad with all kinds of stuff in it and it was so good anyways when i got home what i've done for the past two hours or so is work on the computer. I've just been planning some stuff that I have going on and all kinds of fun stuff, but I've been sitting in front of my computer and I needed to get up and take a break. So we are out here in the backyard getting some sunshine and running around with the pepperonis because we have all been cooped up inside for the past couple of hours. Look at sweet little Cooper baby over there working on his suntan. That is his favorite spot in the yard to lay. He loves laying on the top of our septic tank. I think it gets warm and he just loves it. 
I just find them out here laying on it all the time. Here. Crazy boy, be nice, be nice. There you go, you can take it. There you go. On another note, anyways, look what I did in the backyard the other day. So I hung up a bird feeder and a squirrel feeder because I want to attract some to the backyard. And y'all, I've had this hanging in my backyard for over a week now, and I have not seen one stupid bird or squirrel, and I'm so upset. I don't know what I need to do to draw them in. I see them out there because we have pecan trees, so there's squirrels always eating the pecans, but they don't come in and eat my bird food and squirrel food. I guess I'm gonna have to like get a squirrel call and call the squirrels, right, Bo? Because you want to chase the squirrels. You want to chase the squirrels? Is there a squirrel? Gotta go check for squirrels now. He knows that word. It's so funny. Our kitchen right now is looking like a hot mess and a half because of me cooking the last couple of days. I've made a mess. So I'm about to take the next 10 minutes or so to unload and reload the dishwasher and get the kitchen nice and clean so I can destroy it when we cook dinner here in like an hour. And we're gonna collaborate with Good Ranchers tonight and I'm so excited. y'all it is dinner time and tonight I am really excited because I am partnering with Good Ranchers to tell you a little bit about them and the products they sell. Good Ranchers is actually a local company. Their headquarters is about 30 minutes from my house which is pretty cool but what they do is they sell meat so there's two different ways they sell it. They have four curated boxes that you can order online and have shipped straight to your door but they also have pop-up locations where you can just show up and shop their meats and if you didn't know i'm pretty passionate about meat because that's what i went to college for oddly enough but they offer some super great meat options that are individually wrapped and flash frozen and you've heard me mention them a couple of times lately in my videos like the seasoned chicken we've been eating is all from good ranchers we have really been loving their products so tonight we are eating some of these little strip steaks for dinner but you can also get a wide variety of products like their seasoned chicken breasts love these uh, hamburger meat they also have these nice looking steaks so you can get a little bit of everything from good ranchers I love that a hundred percent of their beef is sourced from American farmers and ranchers I am all about supporting American agriculture so I love buying from brands who support our local farmers and ranchers okay but now let me share with you what we are cooking for dinner tonight so this sounds like a fancy meal but y'all all the sides can be put together in like three to five minutes and it is really simple so you can make this and surprise your significant other your family and it's so simple but oh my gosh it's gonna blow your mind it's so good so what I'm making is some steaks with a mushroom cream sauce we're gonna do some cheesy garlic green beans and some air fryer potatoes because Cody requested those with his steaks tonight a quick and easy delicious meal so let's get to it. Last night I pulled out my Good Rancher steaks from the freezer, stuck them in the refrigerator, and they are perfectly thawed today. So I am just going to pull them out of their packages and we are gonna get them ready to go on the grill. We're just gonna do a simple seasoning on these steaks. So first things first, we are going to take a paper towel and pat them dry on both sides. All I'm going to season the steaks with is some salt and pepper on both sides. Before I started cooking, I wanted to prep all of my ingredients. So once it was time to cook, it was quick and easy. So I started out by slicing an onion super thin. And this is going to go into our mushroom cream sauce. I'm going to use a package of these Baby Bella sliced mushrooms. So I am going to go wash these up and get them ready to cook. Yeah. Cody requested 
requested some potatoes to go with dinner tonight. So I am going to do these air fried petite finger lean potatoes. This is so incredibly simple to throw together and then you just pop it in the air fryer and you get these crispy little bite sized potatoes and they are so darn good. So I just washed these petite finger lean potatoes in the bag because you can just kind of rub them around in here and this hard plastic cleans them up. So now basically all I'm going to do is slice these bad boys in half and throw them in a bowl toss them with a little bit of seasoning and some olive oil and we're ready to go in the air fryer it takes like three minutes to prep these and that's it quick and easy just cut them in half like so pop them in a bowl and do that to the whole bag once you have your little potatoes cut up you can use any sort of these mini potatoes to do this all I add is just a little bit of olive oil to help the seasoning stick. Maybe like a tablespoon or so, not much at all. And then the seasonings I use, I use a little bit of Lowry seasoned salt. Sprinkle a little bit on there. And a little bit of garlic powder. You can season these really with whatever strikes your fancy, but we're going simple tonight. Now go in with your hands, toss it around. And all you have to do with this now is throw it in the air fryer for about 20-ish minutes. And you got perfect little crispy taters. Up next, I'm going to prep the cheesy garlic green beans. So simple, so delicious. The green beans I'm using are already washed, already trimmed, and ready to go. So this just makes the prep a little bit easier so you don't have to go in and trim off all the ends. I am just going to go ahead and take them out and place them in an even layer across a cookie sheet. Once you get your green beans laid out, set them aside and grab yourself a bowl and we're gonna mix together a few ingredients to top our green beans with. This sauce we're gonna put on the green beans is really simple. Do about a tablespoon or two of olive oil in your bowl, a handful of grated Parmesan cheese, a tablespoon of minced garlic, and a good amount of salt and pepper. Mix all of this together. Now grab your beans, and we're just gonna spread this all over. I'm actually gonna go in with my hands and toss this around so it can evenly coat all the green beans. For the green beans, we're gonna preheat our oven to 425 degrees. So let's get that going. It only took me about 10 to 12 minutes, but dinner prep is ready. We've got our steaks. We got our mushrooms and onions cut up for the cream sauce. We got Cody's air fryer potatoes ready to go in the air fryer. I've got the green beans ready. The oven's heating up. Time to pop on the stove and get everything going. And try not to, ooh, there we go. All right, that's gonna start heating up and we're gonna get the mushrooms and onions going. For the mushroom cream sauce, what I'm going to do is I have about four tablespoons of butter and I'm just gonna go ahead and let that start melting in the skillet. Now that the butter's melting, I can just go ahead and throw in my washed mushrooms and my sliced up onion. And all I'm going to do is just let this sit here and saute for the next 20 minutes or so until everything is starting to caramelize. Time to throw in the air fryer potatoes. So what I'm going to do is throw my potatoes in the air fryer, pop them, in the air fryer, I guess. And I have it on 400 degrees and I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna shake up the basket and then put them back in the air fryer in five minute increments until your potatoes are nice and crispy. And now pop the green beans in the oven at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. So I've had these in the air fryer for 15 minutes and as you can see, there's definitely some browning going on the potatoes, but I am just going to stir them up a little bit, slap them back in there for another five minutes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, we got Cody throwing on the steaks from Good Ranchers. Ooh, I'm so excited. This grill is hot, hot, hot. Let's give them a good flip. Look at those grill marks. Beautiful, stunning. 
I have been working on these veggies for about the last 15 minutes, these mushrooms and onions that are gonna become our cream sauce. And as you can see, they are nice and caramelized. While I was cooking them, I added a little bit of salt and pepper, but nothing else. These veggies are perfectly caramelized, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, just a couple little shakeronis, maybe like a tablespoon or so. These are so delicious on top of your steak. And now the final step is to turn down your heat slightly and add in about a half of a cup of heavy cream. And boy, this is where the magic happens. Stir this in and you're gonna let it simmer for just a couple of minutes, let it become nice and thick. I've let my cream sauce simmer and as you can see, it's getting nice and thick. So what I'm going to do is turn off the stove and just let it sit there for about three to five minutes and let it cool off, thicken up a little bit, and it'll be perfect to top our steaks with. What I'm going to do next is pull out my green beans after the 20 minutes they're in the oven. And I am going to take some shredded mozzarella cheese and just sprinkle that over the green beans. Now pop your green beans back in the oven, but place it under a broil for about three minutes or until the cheese is melted and bubbly. All right, y'all, we've got a date night worthy dinner in less than an hour. Just look at these delicious steaks from Good Ranchers. Ooh, Cody did a perfect job grilling them. And for our sides, we got our potatoes that are nice and crispy, and I don't know why they look red, but I promise you they're not. And then over here, we've got our mushroom cream sauce. And then we've got our cheesy roasted green beans. Ooh, y'all. Simple, but y'all, this would wow just about anyone. And there we go. We've got our date night worthy meal thrown together. Does this not look absolutely Incredible. Ooh, I did a good job, y'all. And Cody did a great job cooking the steaks. That hit the spot. It was so darn good. My steak was tender, and then that cream sauce over the top, it was just mwah, perfection. Perfection. But if you're interested in checking out Good Ranchers and their meats that they sell, or if there's a pop-up location near you, I will have all of that linked down below in the description so you can check it out. But for now, I think I'm going to rest a few minutes and I need to get my butt on the elliptical. I don't want to, but I need to. Let me go get in the mental headspace to exercise. <laughs> well, I ate dinner cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm out here on the elliptical. Want to know where I don't want to be? Right here. I did not want to work out, but I'm doing it. And just me getting out here and doing it when I did not want to do it, major win for me today, y'all. I've been on it 30 minutes. I don't know if you can see that, it's backwards. 30 minutes down, I'm shooting for an hour. I'm trying to do an hour every day. I'm working hard towards my goals, and I'm hoping to the Lord we can finally reach the goals I have been trying to reach for a very long time. I've been trying really hard, y'all. I've been trying. Behind the scenes, I've been working really hard, y'all. All right, just had to share that with y'all. I've been exercising at least an hour every day and I've been intermittent fasting for about 16 hours plus every day as well. Going on like three weeks. Proud of myself, y'all. Very proud of myself. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and I'll see y'all when I'm done. All right, y'all, I did it. 60 minutes on the elliptical. Did I wanna do it? Nope, but I stuck it out and did it. <laughs> Yay. It's 10.45 and I just finished my cardio over the night. It was definitely a later night of cardio than I expected, but I got it done. So now I'm sitting at my computer editing the video that you are watching right now and I'm chugging the water. Yes. I totally just realized I haven't shown y'all the new addition to my office. It's this 
absolutely absurdly gigantic hat rack for Cody and I's hats because we have way more hats than any human should have. So we have this hat thing that Cody built for me that is like the length of my entire office just about. And you wanna play? I thought you were hurt. And now you wanna play? You, you crazy boy. But yeah, look at that. Now we can actually see all the hats we own and actually wear a lot of them. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with y'all. Get your ball, you crazy animal. Well, it is currently 12.05 a.m. right now, so it is the middle of the night. I am just wrapping up editing this video, and I figured I would hop on here and close it out before I go and pass out tonight. Your girl is pooped. We had a day, got a lot done, but it is time for me to go hit the hay and get it done once again tomorrow. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, y'all. Mwah!